Hello, Dirty Sanchez. Uh, it is your commissioner speaking. I apologize for the uh, late season wrap up, uh, but uh, wanted to uh, put an end to Dirty Sanchez 8. Um, we had another great season, a lot of good participation this year. Um, I'll be sending out a link to an Excel spreadsheet uh, outlining what everybody won and what everybody owes. Uh, so first off, congratulations to Stevie. Uh, he won first place somehow. Um, what, uh, I'm not sure how much he actually meant to do it, uh, but, uh, I'm pretty sure he set a record. He had a total of three transactions this whole year. He added Joel Dressen, who was a tight end, uh, Paul, 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 Paul which is a linebacker, and then Lance Moore, who actually had some pretty good games there uh, starting in week five on when uh, Stevie picked him up. So uh, tip of the cap to Steve. Well-deserved, well-earned. Congratulations. Uh, he has consistently finished at the bottom of the league standings uh, just about every year. Uh, no offense, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, just wanted to say congrats, Steve. Uh, enjoy your winnings. Uh, hopefully uh, you can use them uh, to do something special in your new home of San Francisco. Uh, after that, E Dog, uh, with just uh, what his third year, third year in the league, uh, has managed to uh, take the team he took over in, all the way up to second place. Uh, another really good uh, performance uh, to get into the finals. Had a really strong year. Uh, made a, a, a few uh, key pickups. Uh, like uh, Michael Vick, I think, was a big one, and Peyton Hillis. Uh, both of those were picked up in week two uh, before either one of them really kind of started kicking off to the years that they had uh, and add that to a pretty strong lineup to begin with. And uh, what you get is second place in the league. So congratulations uh, to E-Dog. Uh, and then uh, no surprise here, Clayton finished third. He seems to always make the playoffs. In fact, I think he's made the playoffs every single year. Uh, he may be the only one, maybe Rich has done it too, uh, to make it every single year. Uh, finished third. Uh, he's finished in the top three quite a few times. I need to go ahead and update the record books to reflect that. I think he's finished in the top three more than anybody else in the league, so congrats, Clayton. Uh, after that, Rich, uh, after winning three years in a row, Finished fourth, which is still pretty respectable. Had a chance at the uh, to finish in the money. Uh, just missed out uh, losing to Clayton. Uh, uh, he's got that core core team of uh, Jones, Drew, Reggie Wayne, and of course Peyton Manning, uh, and then some good drafting uh, that uh, put him in the playoffs. Finishing strong again in a very tough division. Uh, so a, a good year from him as well. Uh, I took fifth. Uh, d uh, played in the quote unquote easiest league or uh, easiest division in the league um, based on records. Uh, but uh, Chuck actually had a really good team this year, uh, scored quite a few points, just got uh, screwed with the matchups. Um, turned it on late, but it wasn't enough. Uh, and then Spillane and um, Zach had some off years. Zach, in particular, uh, he had a really good team that just, for some reason, did not perform. I don't know why. Uh, if you look at his team on paper, it looks like a really good competitive team that just never really lived up to its potential for some reason. So, uh, sorry to hear that. And then Spillane, good grief, man. I mean, his whole team was injured. You talk about Ryan Grant going down, what, week one, week two, Jermichael Finley, uh, his crappy uh, quarterback combo of Jay Cutler and... Whoever else he had, I forget. I think, uh, was he playing with Matt Castle for a while? I forget. Uh, but anyway, uh, Deshaun Jackson was in and out uh, throughout the year. Was really inconsistent when he was in. He was either boom or bust. Uh, really frustrating, really tough year for him. Uh, and then we have, uh, let's see, we have Timmy, uh, Swags, Brandon, uh, uh, as I mentioned, Spillane, and then Zach, and Chuck. And then uh, finishing in the uh, winning the toilet bowl this year uh, was Tampa Bay Parker's Jeremy, uh, so, which is always nice to see him finish poorly. Uh, 
I don't think anybody's going to disagree with that. So, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, like I said, I got all the figures done up. Uh, I'll put the link to the Excel. You guys can check my math, but I'm pretty sure it's on. Uh, I will be coming back to Florida this summer. I'll pick up the trophy, bring it back, and uh, somehow get it over to Stevie. Uh, I can't wait to see what condition it's in. So, uh, again, sorry for the late wrap-up. Uh, it's a good season. Fingers crossed we'll have another football season next year. Uh, a lot of this obviously depends on the NFL and what they do. It's not looking good as far as uh, them getting an agreement in place for them to play. Uh, but hopefully we can do it again. Uh, there's been some talk about uh, all of us maybe getting together, maybe even uh, in San Francisco this year since Steve has a little home base there. Uh, Jeremy's talking about coming out to see him. It's a, a relatively short flight for the folks here in Seattle, uh, and maybe even Spillane can get down there, uh, especially since he's been flying around a lot. Maybe he can use some frequent flyer miles. But anyway, that's all in the future. Um, come this summer, assuming we do have football, we'll get together, uh, sort out some of the rules that uh, have come up, uh, especially around um, uh, 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 um, um, uh, the waiver wire and a couple other things I made note of. I can't remember them off the top of my head. Uh, but we'll get a little owner's meeting together and, and get that all sorted out. So that's it for now. Uh, signing off on another good season. Congratulations, everyone. Thanks again for your participation. And uh, let's do it again soon. All right, peace out.